What's up guys? I'm gonna show really quick here the Mavic Thermal from Droners. I'm gonna show how to set it up. Uh, so this is the Mavic Thermal. Uh, as you can see, it has a Fleur Boson camera attached to it. This is the connector that connects the drone and the camera together. That's the safety clip uh, to avoid, for any case, if the camera tried to fall. You don't gonna lose it. This is a security message or like a warning sticker that tells you be aware of the that the screw is tightened on the camera so you don't lose it and also the safety clip uh, so basically you just open up the drone uh, this video tutorial will work for any of the droners models like from the Enterprise, the Mavic Pro or the Mavic Pro Platinum uh, with 320 or 640 cameras it will work the same so in this package of the diversity monitor or the FPV monitor you receive the instructions kind of a uh, little instructions about how to set up everything but I'm gonna resume it here in the video so this will be the FPV monitor that you will get the thermal image uh, this is the hood uh, just uh, open up it's just three parts uh, to cover the Sun the back you will see the battery uh, it's a lipo battery like you gotta charge it before you use it uh, and it just lock in place uh, inside the box you will find some accessories and cables that come with the monitor and also the FPV uh, directional antenna this is the one that you're gonna use all the time to point at your drone so this has just one way to connect it this connector this side of the connector goes in the antenna you just gotta tie it up and if you see there's two connectors there's uh, an adapter that is connected there in the antenna because antenna has a male pin and also the monitor has a male pin so basically you cannot connect it if you don't use this adapter that is included on the kit so that gotta be connected on this side of the antenna and from there you are able to connect it to the monitor because the monitor again is male so you need to connect it to this female side the monitor has two male uh, connectors on the top so uh, with this female you won't have any issue you can connect it either side uh, it's the one that you like the most uh, but basically what you need to do after connected is be aware that this antenna is flexible and you need it all the time uh, pointed to the drone uh, so you see there's the adapter and then the antenna and if you see it's flexible so uh, you need to point it all the time where you find the drone straight to the drone if the drone is in front of you and you have the monitor flat just move the wire and make it point at the drone at all the time you will get the best of the range from it also uh, in the kit is included the landing gear this is super necessary uh, so with this you have more clearance uh, from the thermal camera the floor bosom and the floor so you basically when you land and take off you're not hitting the camera casing even if it's a uh, aluminum casing a uh, good quality aluminum casing to protect the camera you don't want to scratch it up so it's 100% uh, recommended to use the landing gear included on the kit it's uh, really easy just pop them up and that's it like you're ready to uh, to see the drone on the legs so it's super easy to attach and detach Also, uh, you will find uh, an extra rubber duck antenna. This one is just a linear antenna that you're gonna connect it in the other side of the monitor and the one that you have free. This doesn't require an adapter since the connector is a, a female connector. So this antenna, you want it also pointed uh, parallel to the drone. So Basically, as you have the monitor, if you have it flat in your hands, you want to uh, at least uh, bend the angle a little bit towards you. So you have like a parallel like that uh, towards the drone. Also, uh, you will find the AC adapter or the charger. Uh, you can use this monitor without the battery, just connect it direct to the AC plug. Uh, but also what you would like to use the most is uh, with the battery. So what you will do is connect to charge in the DC in port. The output, you can use it as a power output with a wire that is provided. 
Well, basically, what we're going to do right now is put it to charge uh, and connect it directly to the AC input. When the monitor is receiving power, you will see a red light that it means that it's charging. So to turn on the monitor, you just hold the power button uh, till the OSD screen shows up. And then that's it, you're uh, with the monitor turned on. Uh, so basically what we're gonna see right now is uh, which is gonna be the right mode on the monitor that you should be, the right band and the right channel. So all the thermal bills are set it up in band F, channel one. So to change uh, the modes of the monitor with the second button from left to right, you just press one and you see how it's changing from RX1 or RX2. That will be just using one antenna. Also has changing to HDMI input. So basically you can plug in any HDMI device that you would like to see in this monitor. We're not going to use this right now. Where we want to be is in diversity monitor. This one means that it's using both antennas at the same time. So in this mode, it will choose uh, which is antenna that is receiving the better signal uh, in that moment. And the monitor will switch between them to give you the best image uh, possible at the moment. So that's what you wanted in that time that's what you want it all the time in uh, diversity mode. So, so now that we know that we are in diversity monitor, it will sit in the left side of the screen. Uh, and now we want to change uh, channels. It's right now in the right channel, but I'll show you how to change channels. Pressing the plus or minus button on the right side of the screen, you will change channel like all up and down, like in a, in a TV remote controller. So what you would like is the channel one. So now let's see how we change the band F and the diversity mode. So press the power button one and it will open the menu. And then you have the arrows in the middle of the screen. So you can go up and down. And after you find the diversity menu, this is DIV, you just click the second button on the remote that will be the M is kind of a, it works as an enter, so you can enter on the menu. Let me open it again. Go down to diversity, press enter. It will be the second button. And then you would like to select the F. That's the band that we're going to use all the time. So you just press the back button. That will be the same of, as the power button. It will work as a back or return. So you just press it a couple times. And now you're again in your main screen. You have more diversity, band F, channel one. That's what we like to have at all the time because that's how these thermal bills come from drone nerds. So after that, now we're going to proceed to turn on the drone. Uh, but first, let's check, uh, double check that we have uh, everything right. Like the wire is connected to the floor camera and uh, we're going to proceed to turn it on as a regular DJI drone. Press 1 and hold the second till all the LEDs goes up. And you should have thermal video immediately. Uh, as you see in the screen, you have clear, crystal clear video. That's the default palette that they ship the drone with. Uh, but also, I'm going to show how you can set up and change the color palettes on the Fleur Boson app. You can see the different temperatures from the AC or the computer screen or a cold drink at the very end. Now let's see how you connect to the computer to change the settings on the Fleur Boson app. But also uh, something important, let me show you first uh, how to record with the built-in DVR in the monitor, so let me get a micro SD card. So here, uh, between the antennas, uh, in the top part of the monitor, you will find the slot where you can uh, stick in a micro SD card. With that, you will be able to record the thermal footage 
are being received by the monitor. So basically, you just like press down your micro SD card, and in the moment that is locked in the place, uh, you will see a red square on your screen, uh, meaning that the micro SD card is stopped, it's not recording. To start recording, you will hold the minus button, will be the second from right to left, for three seconds. Hold it down, and then you'll see a, a green play sign or icon. It means that the micro SD card or the DVR is recording already. Uh, if you want to stop it, just hold it for three seconds more, and that's it. Now the recording stop, and you have a recording in your micro SD card. You just need to uh, take it out from the monitor and put it in your computer to have your footage. So now let's uh, set up the FreeBoson app. Okay, in the in the kit is included also a uh, wire. That's the one that you're gonna use to connect the FLIR camera to your computer. It's USB. Also has an RCA or audio, sorry, video output and the terminal for the FLIR camera. What you need to do is carefully uh, is carefully uh, remove the, the terminal of the connector that comes from the drone on the FLIR camera and now connect your uh, provided wire that is the one that is going to that is the one that you're going to need to connect to your computer uh, through a USB port. So let's connect in the camera first. Has just one way to go in. Don't push it hard. Like just, If it's not going in, just flip it and it will, it will get in. And now you just need to connect the other end of the wire. Use the USB part. You just need uh, to connect it to your computer or laptop. In the moment that you do it, uh, your computer should make a sound like you're connecting a new uh, device or peripheral as when you connected a USB drive. Also, a good sign is like a blue light will show up in the back of your camera, your free bosom camera. It means that it's getting power from the USB. Okay, when you plug in the camera, you will get like that Windows uh, sound. That's a good sound. It tells you that uh, the computer is recognizing the FLIR device, so you need to right click on your Windows icon and go to Device Manager. Uh, from there, uh, we're just gonna look for the FLIR device and right click and we're gonna hit Update Driver. Now, click in Browse from my computer and uh, let me pick. So, from there, you can choose any of those USB serial. Uh, drivers and click next and accept and that's exactly uh, what we need then you close it and I'm gonna leave here in the link uh, the files to download the app for Windows 64 uh, bits or 32 you download the one that you need extract or open the folder and then uh, perform the installation of the software you just gotta click next I'm not gonna install it because I have it installed already but use it Lead, uh, click next and yes everything that he asks you and then finish uh, and now you will have an icon like this it's called Boson app so you gotta have your camera already connected before open it when you open the interface look at the right size where it says port select the COM port that is available when you have the COM port you gotta come to this device select in the left side and look for FLIR video there you go you have the free camera live view and your uh, free Boston app. From here now you can change to any of the palette, the color palettes that you would like. Uh, it will depend on the use that you're gonna, and what use you're gonna use this camera for. Uh, they all the time ship it with uh, this palette. Everything that is cold or different looks uh, gray or black and what is warm looks orange and to say you go to a left side menu a second section says system and then configuration controls save power on default you click a couple times and with that you save changes any change that you make on the app
that is is how to use the free boson app so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video uh please subscribe leave a comment for any question you guys have about it uh i will help you with that uh see you in the next one and have a nice day